Okay, welcome back guys. Let's try off when we left off. So since we have already generated as out of this, now we need to specify where we want the hairs to grow out from. Okay. Let me get a general idea where the hair should roughly grow out from. So now, once we do this, we don't want the hairs to be all over the place. We want this, this hair to grow in specific regions. Specific regions. So, how do we do that? We need to kind of create a max to tell this, to tell XGen to generate air in where we want the air to be. Not in the, actually in the, in the, um, we don't want air. <coughs> It's more or less like marks in black and white marks in where on the white part of the marks as will be grown out from then on the black part of the marks we shouldn't be seeing any hair follicles in there <coughs> right so i would hide this for now now to create that we'll come in here to this max so this is density how much air is one generated out of this so we need, to, we need to create a dense create a density map to tell XGen where we want the hairs to grow out from. So I'll click on this arrow, drop down arrow, click on create map. Um put this at 50. Mm, start color black. Then let's name this max to back underscore sides underscore then yeah it's a dense it's uh, dense and just name this to dense instead so we're increasing the map resolution so we can get more resolution to paint with so I think 50 should be fine. Click on backside, then yes, density underscore max, very important. Click on create. So right off the bat, we should have all of this in black. I would like to hide. No, let me, let me leave that. Uh, Let me see, leave that on. So now I want to paint black on this. So I'll just come in here on the two active two and double click on this. I'll use this as my guide. So we want to paint white. So drag this to full white. And we want to use solid brush for this. We want to use solid brush for this then let's assign texture drag this all the way up assign texture choose this first let's start by clicking save save texture assign texture okay <clears throat> so when we generate airs out of this so when we generate airs out of this no, something is awfully wrong. Something looks wrong. It's not supposed to be generating the okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to generate. We are missing something. After clicking save here, yeah, save textures there, yeah, you want to come up around there yeah, on the max. Click on this dicks icon to kind of save also. So once you hit that now, once you generate airs again on top of this, you shouldn't see any airs being generated here. Why? Because why? Because um, we painted this black, so on black nothing will be seen. So now let's paint full white on this, but I would like to paint this symmetrically also. Let's get some symmetrical painting on top of this. 
So I go to stroke. Scroll down, click on reflex, reflection. So it's on X already. So this is going to help us paint symmetrically on top of this, which is precisely what we want. Okay. So I would um let me start by taking down the brush. So let's start with something small like so. Let's kind of map out where the air should be. Okay. Okay. Can't even see. Let's turn on wire from a shader so we can get an idea where the air is. So you want to kind of go with a fast movement of your stroke so you don't have squiggly lines around it. Okay. I think this will work just fine. So now I can turn this off. Okay, so let's increase the brush size. We want to be careful also too. <clears throat> So only pin this where is necessary. Respecting, respecting the previous line you've drawn. Okay. Sometimes the reflexive brush reflection, I mean, painting with symmetry can have a weird issue, especially when you come to the center of the of where this symmetrical line meets. Okay, let me increase the process a bit more. Since we have mapped out the main regions, you don't you don't really necessarily have to be extremely precise on filling up the entire part, but it just gets most of the white white parts in place. Okay, so if I save, if I save this now, you can see how the air respects the regions we just maxed out. And it's only generating airs from the region we just maxed out, which is, which is more or less precisely what we want. Mm, I feel like I should grab, I think I should grab some more part around here also save this again turn this off use a smaller brush size and just map out this region like so how do I flip this color now? Okay. Now you want to be careful using the using control Z because it may just cause may just make my crash. So I want to be very careful with that. Okay, I'm doing symmetry on that's good. So this is fine. This is fine. Let's 
double click on this save texture save texture yes i think we are good if i come and click in here now click out now we, let's hide this guys let's hide, hide the guys let me hide the guide for now and just generate sales from this Mm -hmm. You can see how we have something really clean around here. Yeah, it's actually very nice. It's actually really clean. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm noticing here is the here now is that I feel my the ears are a guide are quite quite small. You can see disparity around this region. So let's go back in there. Just click on this paint icon. And paint more whites around here. Save. But I can't really, I can't, I can't really tell for sure if, if um, what's it called? If the length of the air is okay or not? Why? Right? Because I need to add clumping in there to actually get a good feel of the volume of the hair based on the length of it. So um for now for now let's just leave this as it is. But there's one more thing we need to do though. <clears throat> we need to soften the edges. I need to soften the edges a bit more. So I'm going to think I can easily the selection to I can hide this for now. Select this, go back in here. Let me do a quick save. Go back in there with this paint brush. Now to soften the edge, to soften the edge, double click in here. Soften that edge. All we need to do is to come into stroke. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not it's quite easy though. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that? Where is it? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's here. Blow. Blow. You can, you can select this and then just blow this out or you can let me take down the brush size a bit small something a bit small something like this will be fine i'm not going to hold down shift and i'm going to blow out this edge let me do a quick save save this this feels a bit it's quite strong i don't want something this strong Uh, I don't want something this strong. But you have not gone all the way down here. So I will need to take this down. Let's go. Let's let's experiment with this other edge. Because this edge is not extremely important like that. This is see quite strong though. Quite strong. Um, okay, let's just uh, I don't want something this strong. This is this feels quite strong. But let's see, let's see. Let's save this. Let's see what we have when we go out of this. Hmm. Uh, nah, I don't really like it. I don't, I don't want something extremely blurry. Am I on the right brush? Solid brush. Okay. Um, let's experiment with the back. Let's. Yeah, this is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I want, not the other way around. 
Here the broad side is a bit small. Yes, there is has these weird issues on the, in the center parts. Don't know why. Um, okay, let's just do this, <coughs> this then. <coughs> Uh, <clears throat> no, Okay. Let's save this. Let's see what we have. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think we can still work with this. Let's just go to the back and then just do this at the back. Okay. I think I need to Let me hide this one now. Okay, let's just go over this again. Save textures. Save. Okay. Yeah. Once you introduce to do kind of the hair is better is to turn on anti aliasing. Yes, this give us a better hair shader in there. Okay. This would work. Uh, this one is poking out like around here, so I need to tighten this part a bit more. Let's use the paint brush, painful black. Increase the brush size a bit more. Hide the hairs. You can see this smearing on the at the edge. So let's erase that. The quick save. Okay. Um, think I'll need a bit more around the air. Okay. Save. Now you want to be careful not to go overboard and then ruin the entire thing though. Save texture. Okay. Do a quick save again. Let's see what happens when I... Let's put this to value of 2. Let's see. That definitely adds... Some more lens widths, which, which yeah, I think this should be fine. Should be fine. The main thing is that we have a, a larger portion of control over this, which is precisely what we want. Okay. I think right about now we can begin to um yeah, I think something let me bring back the guides. 
I'd like to create some guys here to kind of force this air down. So they feel like they are straining off way too much to force them to force them down. So I'll create one here just to force that down. Then I will select it. Deselect this part and mirror this to the other side. Let's generate our airs again. And select it. Bend it this way. Make sure I'm not selecting. Oh, I am selecting something else. You select everyone in order to select selected. If you are not selecting something else, okay. We have something like just to force it down. Select it. Uh, I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if to delete the other ones though. I'm not sure if to delete the other ones. So let's add this. Select this to make sure we're not selecting anything else, and we'll just delete them. Then this two. Make sure we're not selecting anything else. Then we'll mirror this to the other side. Let's generate as again. Right, awesome. So with this now we can begin to add some modifiers to it. Let's go back to let's go back to where's that reference? Original reference for this, which is this dude here. You can see now that I will need to kind of yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave. I'll leave this steady that is in here. Let me leave it. I'll leave it. I think I'll leave it. It should should be. If it's not looking good, I'll reuse it. But for now, let me just let me just let's just uh, uh let me let's let's oh crap I'm not sure 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 let's erase it let's we can always draw that back. I'm gonna draw that bar. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. Man, I know it's okay. Let's let's erase it. Let's erase it. Let's erase it. Um, hide the hair. Make sure this is visible. So no, we are, we are out as far as where we are using it soon. <clears throat> so be fine. Save this. Raise this part. I don't know where this is coming out from though. Where is this coming out from? I'm not even sure where this is coming out from. But that's fine. We can always use this too. I don't know what it's even called. What is it called? Was this to call select primitive? So I'll hit select primitive. So this will allow select the hairs. So I'll select this says and this is whole primitive. So that should just delete it. So we don't have excess of that. 
düşün şu. So to fix this as push pushing down, you can select this. No, wrong to wrong to. Um, let me go to curve. No, object selection to suppose you want object selection to okay. Yes. So select this as around here. Deselects, deselects this, selects this, this, this. Mm, yeah, those three, those three. Then we scale them down some more. Refresh. So that will just help us push, help us push the air back in some more. Something like that should be fine. Let's add the guides. Do a quick save. Mm -hmm. So, um, should be fine for now. Mm -hmm. Should be fine for now before we begin to add. <clears throat> before we begin to add some of these details for this here on top of this. Okay. Um, yeah, this will work. This should work. So, do a quick save. Yeah, this should be fine. So, now let's go to go to the modifiers. Let's go to the modifiers in here and let's drop a plumping modifier in here. Click OK. So it's dropping this error in here. It's not working right because you need to set up a map for it. So come in here. Then let's let's see. Uh, I think I will start with something kind of high. So with the, for the density, let's let's try put a value of put a value of five <clears throat> for starters. Then click on generate. <clears throat> Then click on save. Okay, let me put this maximum should be on 0 0.8. Generate. So that will kind of randomize this some more. Click on save. Hmm. So as soon as you do that, you should have <clears throat> you should have something similar to this, which now it now gives us a better idea as to the length of the hair, which for the most part looks close enough. Yes, this is close enough. This is close enough. We can work with this. We can definitely work with this. Okay. One thing I feel like I should do is that I'll go back. I'll review some of this egg guide. So the egg guys are the top parts. Like most of this around the air. Somewhat around the air. I would scale out a bit more like so. Now, no, so you can see how that breaks the uniformity of the air. That breaks the uniformity of the air way too much. Select so this. Scale out just a bit. Yeah, I think something like, <clears throat> something like this should work. Bring this outward. There's yeah, something like this. Just trying to break the uniformity of the air so let's check to be sure let me see if this is a good smart idea or not uh, and i'm having this weird shape around here so i need to be a bit careful on this let me idle the hairs for now because now we have a lot of lot of i'll say a lot of egg guides now to work with so yes yeah, this, this, this one looks a bit weird this is 
way too down it's down way too much pull this out this is our sculpt brush and pull this out and it should be slightly longer this is just the part where we begin to go in and then make some of some more adjustments with it just to make sure everything is working accurately see this some of these were way we're down way too much we're down way too much see you can leave them <coughs> Leave them up individually. Okay, this part, this part, the hair is supposed to be supposed to be slightly higher. Let's select more of this, then you can move this a bit faster. So they are like so close to the surface. <clears throat> mm, I think let's try and generate airs out of this now. <clears throat> Yes, it yeah, looks slightly compressed with a lot of lifting around here. Okay. So need a better transition from something high to something low, which is around the lower part of the neck, lower part of the back of the neck. Let's try this again. Yes, much better. <clears throat> Slightly much better, except for these parts. We probably do this. Let's do this from this view. Yeah, you can see how it's, it's been lifted up. So very important. Let's kind of check, go around this, and then make sure everything's working correctly as it should. I think it should be fine. I don't want to go overboard on this. I don't want to go overboard on this. I'll just do a quick save. If there's anything else you need to correct, we can always go back there and then fix that. <clears throat> Okay, so now let's play with this. Let's play with this um, clumping. We do have added something there. We need to kind of break it up a bit more. Okay, let's see how it tapers. This is the R for root, T for tip. So let's raise the tip up a bit more. Okay. Probably tighten the midpoints. Put something around. Raise up it too much. Looks like this. But let's get this somewhere around the air. Somewhere around the fuse. Slightly better. Okay. Yeah, we can work. We can work with this as a single as the first pass for this. 
this is a good first pass then let's create another clump modifier for this Mm, yeah, this will be fine. We can also use this to reduce the strength of it. So if I go in here, zero point five. Let's put this back to one. You can see how this kind of reduces the strength, reduces the strength of it. So let's carry on. Let's add another clump modifier to this. So set up. I will use um, value of. Let's try 20 in here. Generate. Generate. Okay. Save. Okay. Okay. Let's let's turn off this something one. Let's see what we have with this just this clumping so okay. Um, I feel <clears throat> I feel this clumping one has too many clumps. Let's let's work with this clumping one a bit more. So I come in here under setup map. Position five. Let's try one. Generates save. Okay. Let's turn on clumping <coughs> clumping two. <clears throat> let's see what we have. Nah, this will not work. Means slightly a bit more, slightly, slightly more. Let's try the value of three generates. Save. Let's turn on clump in two. Yeah, I think this is a good. <clears throat> I think this is a good one. This looks like a good one. Yeah, this will work. This, this looks like a good one. <clears throat> hmm. So the next thing I'm going to add in here would be some noise. Hmm. Noise. Adding some noise to this. Ah, this noise is way too much. Not too much noise on this. <clears throat> Let me go back to my notepad. I think I have a value for the noise modifier in here. Yes, I have a value that I can use. Mm. Uh, okay. Let's try this. For the frequency, this is just around. Then it randomizes from a value of zero point zero to a value of one point three, so an intensity of one point three. That's just basically what it is. <clears throat> okay. This is good. Let's try. Let's try this for the magnitude. Let's see what that gives us. It's just like an expression you type in there. So let's randomize this. Okay. But now the tip is more affected. Is it the tip that is more affected for by this random? No, the root is more affected by this random. By the noise rather. So let's see what we have. Yeah, this definitely breaks it up a bit more. Which is not too bad. I think this 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 would work. This should work. 
maybe we can <clears throat> can we randomize this let's see let's see if we can randomize yeah we can we can actually <clears throat> let me take this down <clears throat> let me take this down to the value of zero points let's try zero point five so <clears throat> that that only means that it's going to randomize the intensity of this noise across the surface so that would be like 50 percent of this surface of the hair follicles will be having the noise effect on top of it it's more like more like a, like a, it is like the max it's called the max so 50 percent is going to be having the intensity of a randomization of 0 0.1 0 to 0 0.5 that's basically like 50 percent of this is going to be having at random randomly 50 percent of the hairs it's going to be having this noise on top of it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens when we use a value of one. We have the entire team being, being affected by the noise. Well, it's still at random though. It's still randomizing this. Okay, let's just use. Let's use. This is a value of 0 0.7 instead. That's a better bet. <clears throat> yes, it's a good one. Be quick save. I'll go back to primitive. I will dial this up to a value of 30. Run this again. Just to have it's more like, like your resolution for this, just to have some more breakups in the okay let's see all right okay cool let's add some stray airs to this i believe we can have some stray airs to this um Let's drop in another noise modifier in here. This is a lot. So what we're going to do is to just copy this. Copy this. You can just take a screenshot of this and then just type this in, but I'm just going to copy mine. Copy. I'll paste this in here. So this so now nothing is working because we need to come to I think on that description, then set three percentage. Let's say we want just let's say okay. Let's say for example we want like just the uh, let's say thirty percent of this to be to be affected by this noise. Let's close this. Please go make sure you're doing a quick save on your on this file. So let's see if we can find those three airs around here. Yeah, yeah, the magnitude we need to increase the magnitude for this because it's a magnitude that kind of give us a good idea as to what is being pulled out as a stray air on top of this. Let me just in here. I think now we can see something, but it's not. Might not be it is not extremely obvious though. Not extremely obvious in the uh I'm looking for a good angle to kind of show you guys properly. Okay, you know what? Let's just have a better idea to show you guys. So set three percentage, let's use hundred. So at hundred you can see how noisy this looks just pushing itself all over the place 
So we don't need to be affecting the MVT. We want to just be reflecting some select few in terms of percentage. So I would set this to let me just set this. I think thirty thirty percent percent years before was fine. This is fine. So let's add a cut modifier to this. So add a cut modifier. I also have a value for this cut modifier in here. Copy. Oh, there's already, there's already something there already, Seth. There's something there already. But let's see the values I have. Let me just paste this in there regardless. So let's say we increase intensity now. Now you can't really see much of what's happening in here because it's moving from an intensity of 0, 0 to 0 point so. So if you put this around, let's say 2. If you see here, you can see, you can see some drastic difference around there. You can see there's a drastic change around there. Mm, so let's, let's use the value of 5 instead of the value of 5. Now, uh, 5 is just eating up the air way too much. So, this is just to randomize the air length. So, which particular air strand won't be the same length with the with other air strands around it? So, we're going to kind of randomize the length of the air around it. I think 0 0.2 is fine. Now, this might not be the final look for this, though. It's something we can always go back to and then change modify and then make it the way we want it to so I'll go back to primitive let's let me increase the intent a bit more let's increase let's increase intensity so we'll add more heads to this okay once again now one time you add more density to this you always want to go back to let me save this first you always want to go back to the modifiers and then of this on the clump very important so come here generate again save so update this on the clump as you can see go to clump two let's update this also generates save All right so this is properly updated so in the next lesson we'll carry on and then add s for the center parts of this character and then Keep modifying it until we have it's even similar to this kind of hair, but not very much though. Then we'll keep on modifying this until we have something good enough to work, good enough to call done. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.